Hi, I'm Enna and I very recently got back into Pokemon cards and making content about it. Even more recently than that, I attended the Pokemon World Championship in Honolulu, Hawaii. Huge thanks to the Pokemon Company International for gifting me a content creator pass to cover this unforgettable event. Now, to be completely fair and honest, when I found out Worlds 2024 was happening in Hawaii, I wasn't exactly thrilled. There have been too many instances of over-tourism, which causes pollution and harm to Hawaii's land and its people. Foreign greedy landlords are buying up houses and apartments to rent out to tourists, which causes housing instability to native Hawaiians. And the overall disrespect many vacationers have to the islands is causing a rift between the people who visit and the people who live there. This is just a small fraction of what's happening due to the colonization of Hawaii. And it's extremely sad to see such a beautiful place with its rich culture and amazing people suffering from it. So when my good friend Fawn and I found out that we were going to Pokemon Worlds, we didn't want to be one of those horrible tourists. We researched how to respectfully and ethically travel to Hawaii as best we could. We also made it a point that while we were there, we wanted to do something to give back to the island. And as we were perusing through the special side events at Worlds, we noticed there was something we could participate in called the Genki Ala Wai Project. The Genki Ala Wai Project is an organization whose focus is to clean up and restore the Ala Wai Canal by using microbes in the form of Genki Balls. Fawn and I were absolutely thrilled to see Pokemon team up with the project to make these Pokeball-like mud balls, and then get to chuck them in the canal as part of the official Hawaiian ceremony. It was so much fun! But let's rewind back a minute before we throw our Poke Mud Genki Balls to catch pollution mons. We had to make them first. After the opening ceremonies at Worlds, Fawn and I made a beeline for the Genki Ala Wai project room. If I'm gonna be honest, it was the thing we were most excited to participate in. The room itself was prepped with all the equipment to make mud balls and teamed with volunteers to educate and guide us through the process of making the Genki Balls. Step one was sifting through dirt to remove rocks and debris. All the sifted dirt is collected into a bag, and then we are on to the next step. Step two was adding rice bran to the dirt. The rice bran is essentially the food for the microorganisms to provide them with nutrients to make them big and strong for taking on sludge and pollution in the canal. But later on, we're gonna add a solution that has our bacteria or microorganisms as well as the glasses at the resort. And then also some water to make it that body system. That's it. And then later on, you get to throw into the canals, which makes it easier for us to just throw it and deploy it into yeah. like the body yeah. water. And we're going to do the OLI. We mixed it until it was a nice, even mixture, and then added the solution of molasses, water, and the microbes themselves. We continued to slowly add the solution until we had mud. I felt like a kid again playing in the mud. But this time, it was to help out instead of making a mess. Once the mud was a perfect consistency, we went over to the next station. Step three was forming them into balls. Vaughn, you don't have to record anymore. Yeah, I was just gonna do okay. when you okay. put the next ball okay. down. Perfect. These Genki balls then spend about two weeks sitting there, hardening and fermenting. Since the Genki balls needed so much time to sit and the ceremony was the next day, we couldn't use the balls we just made. We instead got the balls that were made from a previous group, which, thinking about it, is really cool. Not only does our energy and spirit go into these, but someone else's joy and hard work gets shared with us at the same time. Everyone in Alola! Along with all of us here! The people and Pokémon send our power! And send it as one! Truly, we are all in this together to help save and restore the canal. The next day was the Genki ball throwing ceremony. The hardened and fermented balls were ready for us. But before we could start throwing, the Genki Ala Y project gave us more vital information about the history and impact of the Genki balls. So Genki, for those of you who don't know, is a Japanese word that means healthy, vital, energetic. We were inspired by the Osaka Fishermen's Collaborative who really use this technology to clean up their waterways in Japan. This is also used all around the world as well. So this is called an EM mud ball throughout the world. 
We like the name Genki Ball, so we kept it as a nod to them. <laughs> but they're basically mud balls that are full with good beneficial bacteria. So this is called bioremediation. And in this case, we're using good microbes to bring back the ecosystem from the bottom up. The balls in the ceremony were then blessed with a traditional Hawaiian blessing from Kumo Poa. She taught us about Hawaiian culture and the language surrounding the canal, so we had a better understanding of the impact we were making there. Pokemon lovers, all of my kaku, aloha! Aloha! Aloha, and thank you very much. All this week and all your lives, you put yourself towards something that the world may call a game, the world may call an activity, the world may call an interest, but for a lot of you, it's life. It's a way for you to reinforce the super feelings within you and, the, and to replicate the characters and the different people in Pokemon and to be like, yeah, I can do that too. Now today <laughs> is life. Everybody say life. Life. Today is Ola. Everybody say Ola. Ola. When it comes to the Hawaiian tradition, we always give before receiving. When you go visiting different places, you make sure you leave something behind. We're not just here to be on a vacation or a convention. We are here to make ourselves known that we left something behind. Now the thing about Hawaii is ha means breath of life. So when we exchange our breath, the word vai is the word for fresh water. Everybody say water. Water. Everybody say fresh water. Fresh water. Now here in Hawaii, the ironic thing is when it comes to prosperity, being rich, having abundance, the ironic word for it is vai vai. We don't have word for money. We call it vai vai. So why would we use water as a way to say you're rich, you're loaded, you're abundant, you're prosperity? It's because all around us is vai. Vai vai in our spirit, vai vai in our hearts. And the word e in Hawaii means your spirit. I'm not here to perform magic. I'm not here to bring blessing. I'm just here to make an agreement. An agreement that we're all here to make change. And I like to say that we'll be throwing out some Pokeballs, uh, Pokemon balls today. But you know what? This is a way for y'all to be a superhero. Make a difference and clean out the waterway. So our children's children, that's the one thing about us. We don't live for the day. You're not here for a weekend. You're here to live for a lifetime. So I ask all of you family, when you do things, don't do it just for yourself. Do it for your children's children. Children, everybody say Genki. Genki. That's right. So we know we can make a difference. I like to mahalo and say thank you for the Pokemon Association and all of the Ohana that stands behind this, the staff and the people who just wanted to make a difference. We're not here to just have a nice time. We're here to be a part of time. All right. So in tradition, when it comes to Hawaii, it was we do something called a oli. And only is known as a chant, as a prayer, what have you. But for most of all, it's just a way for Kumupua to agree with you. If you got no why for why you're here, then why are we here, right? So everybody, I ask of you, make a why and include the word aloha in it. Alo means face to face, ha means the breath. What are you exchanging with the next generation? What are you giving to the countries that you visit? What are you giving to the states that you go to and to the conferences that you end up at? What are you doing here? So today, for all of you that have participated in making these balls, thank you on behalf of our keiki, on behalf of our children. Thank you on behalf of the generations ahead. And mahalo piha, utmost thank you to those of you who thought that I'm gonna take just an extra amount of time to put myself aside and think about others. So first off, how about a round of applause for all of you? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna ask everybody to huddle on in. Come as close as you can, come as close as you can. When you take in that breath, take in all the good, all the good of your families, your friends, Pokemon, all of it. Take it all in, but all the bad, let that go. Here we go, ready? Go, on. Good. That one took a little bit more effort. Everybody said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now last time, this time is for your future. So at this time, if you can come into agreement, whether or not you know Hawaiian or not, whether or not you know the words of my kupuna, of my ancestors, whether or not you know where you're standing in front of, just know that you care. And when I say the oli and when I share that gifts the prayer, when it's time to toss, 
we're going to make a legacy. Everybody say legacy. Legacy. Everybody say legacy. Legacy. Everybody say legacy. Legacy. Oh, no, 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 Every time we waste that blessing, do not waste that blessing of this weekend. You guys are here to enjoy yourselves, but you guys are here to know that you live in that blessing. At this time, we're going to disperse. Hold on to what you felt. Take that in. Don't waste it. All right? You're going to go and disperse amongst this wall. We have crates on each level. Please go ahead and grab a one ginky ball. And we're going to do the first toss together. All right, here we go. If you have a ball in your hand, make sure my head isn't there, okay? Yeah. All right. The word is Genki Ho, okay? So Genki is happy, excited, exuberant. Ho is to do it again and again and again. Joy and love to all of you. On a count of three, I'm going to count down three, two, one, and you're going to throw it and say Genki Ho. Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear you. Everybody ready? Yeah. Two, one, gay kid! I wasn't crying, you were! No, but really, I totally teared up, and I was so proud and happy for all of those who participated. After wiping away my tears, it was time to practice our best Pokeball throws into the water to release those microorganisms and do our part for this and future generations. I got a better underhand pitch than overhand, you know? I hope that if you ever visit Hawaii or anywhere out of your country, that you've been inspired to take the time to give back to the places you visit. It's important for all of us to be mindful when we travel, and I'm grateful that Pokemon took the time to make space for the people and the culture of Hawaii during their event. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want more information about participating in making Genki Balls specifically, visit GenkiAlaWai.org to learn more. The link will be in the description below. There will be more Pokemon Worlds content coming soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!